I'm Jennifer Sness here watching News 24 Live. Moses Adams is joining me in studio. Now he's a professional skateboarder and he's just won Red Bull Unlocked. He's here to tell us all about that. Hello. How are you doing? Good? Good, good. Yes, I'm always very excited to get extreme uh, athletes in studio because you guys do something that I'm really bad at. <laughs> so <laughs> I love to hear your adventures. Now, tell me about Red Bull Unlocked. You came out of that competition with first prize. What kind of, um, I guess, events were you taking part in there? Um, it was basically like the, the way they set up first because don't, you don't know what, what you're going to skate, so no one knows what the course looks like mm -hmm. and how it's going to turn out. But I, the day before that, I did a shoot with Helen Zilla over there. And then I saw the picture. Yeah, and then the next day, they put up everything together. I was there, and then I saw the trophy. So there was a lot of, like, my friends that were also skating. So it was, my mind was always, like, focused there. Mm -hmm. But it was an awesome time I had, like, at the end, everyone was stressing out who's going to win, who's not going to win. And it turned out to be me, so I was like... Now you seem really chilled out about that. I I'm mean, it turned out to be you. That's amazing. Well, I'm always chilled. That's how I am. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so then how did you feel when you won? Were you just really chilled out? I was out? happy. I Everyone was else was But happy. I was more happy about my brother that came second next to me. So that's incredible. Your brother yeah. came second. Did you guys start skateboarding together? No, I started when I was nine. He started when I was six. Okay. So... All right. So you started when you were nine years old. What yeah. inspired you to start skateboarding? Uh, I, I have an older brother also that skates, but mm -hmm. he stopped now. And then, yeah, he's working now. He's got a kid, so... He's doing his thing. So just by watching him and his friends skate, I was like, oh, I got on. So when, as soon as I got on a board, I didn't stop since then. What did your parents think when you started skateboarding you gonna, at nine years they old? They didn't like, how are you going to hurt yourself? You can't do this. How are you going to pay your bills? And when I got my first paycheck, they were like, OK. <laughs> <laughs> just continue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were just like, OK. And then just after that, more and more started coming. That's really cool. Now tell me about this photo shoot with Helen Zilla. I saw some of the pictures and it looked so great. Yeah. Why do a photo shoot with Helen Zilla? I was actually chilling at home and then I got an email, I got an email and I was like, no way. It's going to happen. And then my heart started, like, doo -doo -doo, like started to pop because the first time I'm meeting her now. Mm -hmm. And I was waiting there, waiting and 30 minutes came past and the other friends like, hey, she's behind you. I'm like, what, really? So I turned around and she was looking at me. I was like, got this rush, like, poof. But then I got up everything. She was super cool, mellow. Yeah. Yeah, she's funny, very funny. She is really funny, yeah. actually. She let me blindfold her in this studio. <laughs> <laughs> it's a story for another day, yeah. but she did. Now, but why do the photo shoot? What, what was the inspiration behind it? Um, I don't know. They just wanted to do something different for the unlock before the contest yeah. so then more people can actually see what was actually going on. Mm -hmm. And then she had the glass to open as well for me, holding the board and then I skate down the stairs and she's holding it. It's like photos of that and then me going over. That's really cool. Were you ever afraid you were going to maybe injure? I was, but I, I was like, okay. oh, I have to do this. <laughs> if I mess up, no, I'm gonna, everything's going to go. <laughs> now, you're based in Cape Town. Yeah. Tell me about skateboarding uh, growing up. I mean, you said you started when you were nine years yeah. old. From what I understand, skateboarding is still like technically illegal on the streets of Cape Town. Yeah. Did you ever experience any problems with that? When you yes, I have. I got chased with like so many times security guard with a like bats and. Oh my gosh! I guess that makes you just go faster. Yeah, you start running. <laughs> <laughs> and then like every time like you come to the spot, it's like ah, oh, it's so nice. But then they tell you sometimes they tell you no, rather come back when it's closed. Okay. And don't damage anything. And then we have a good time. So as long as you don't damage anything yeah. and there's not a lot of people around. Yeah. You but have some people release. understand that they sit around and yeah. watch, they take photos. Mm. What was Helen Z Zilla's perception like when it came to skateboarding? Oh, when I first came, she was like, oh. She's like, me standing here, like when I Ollie down, like, because it's like a big alleyway and Ollie was through the thing and she's keeping the door open, the glass door. Yeah. So she's like, no. And then I did my first, like, Ollie. And then she was like, poof, a face, the first picture of her face was just like, <laughs> was so funny though. I can imagine. Now, you just got a visa to head off to Spain yeah. today, is that right? I got it today. It took me 30 minutes to get it. That sounds very efficient. Yeah. Spanish sounds a little bit more efficient yeah, than our efficient. And also, like, the people that I went to, the other embassy, the main one, mm -hmm. they were more friendly than the other people were. But really? So chill, yeah. Okay, cool. So now I know if I want to get a visa quickly, I can just Straight go to the Spanish yeah. consulate or the Spanish embassy. What are you going to be doing in Spain? Uh, I'm going to be. I got invited to skate the world's biggest contest in the world. It's called Street League. Okay. And it's Street in, League. Yeah, it's, and in it's Barcelona. the biggest one in the world. Yeah. Jeez. So you get like X Games, mm -hmm. but you get Street League. It's got. It's like if you win, you win two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Jeez, what are you going to do with, with all that money if you uh, win? Put it away, buy a house one day. Oh, that's very that's very smart of you. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you prepare for a big competition like uh, Street League? Um, I see the course, I think what I want to do, but sometimes it's better for me just to go out there and have fun and then everything will come together. Okay. What, what are your favorite tricks to do or your like, competition go-tos? Do you have uh, I like kick flips and like, there's a whole lot of variety of tricks that I like. Mm -hmm. It just goes on and on and on. Are there any skateboarders you look up to who are going to be at the competition? Yes, I do. There's, um, what's it there? Nick Tucker. There's a lot of, so many good skaters that's going. Yeah. And to be all like around them, it's going to be, that's going to be a whole nother level. Like. That's crazy. When's the competition? It's on the 16th coming now. On the 16th, yeah. so you're leaving actually on this Thursday. next week. Yeah. Okay. Well, we wish you the best of luck. I can't wait to see what place you come in. You must come back in and tell us about it I'll, when you get I will back. do that. Thank you I'll for coming in.